Put sublimate with me. Today I decided to sublimate customized pillow cover. So I print it out in my Epson ED2800. And these things I use a sublimation heat parchment paper, paper cutter, painter's tape, sublimation pillow cover, or blank heat resistant tape. And first you can see that I print out some images. So in one side at least, I need four images. Or total eight images. I print it out with my printer. So because I remove the roller from my printer. So at the bottom of the images, almost three inches, all the ink is smudged. Because there is no roller. If you want to print something, you have to keep in mind that behind to leave the extra space for almost three inches. So even if you cut out the images, so it will not look bad. So you can see that from how the edges, I am cutting the because images. Because all the ink is smeared. And there you can see that after getting all the images. According to the length how I want it. I place it on the pillow. And I adjust according to my desired look. So because there is the images. Some is very longer and some is so short. So I'm trying to adjust how that. I can place all these images. There is no specific rule. You can choose however you want. And then I first tape it in the front only. Little bit is. And make sure you use a good quality tape. Because otherwise it can destroy the images. So then you have to paint it again. After placing the images, I apply tape on it to just together. After that, I will place the tape at the back. I flip the side and you can see that this is the paper. After four images is gathered. So now I place it the painter's tape at the back to give the sturdy look. So it will not move. And I applied heat on it. After applying tape, I flip the side and I remove the front side. You can see that this is a heat resistant tape. So you have to gently remove the tapes. Otherwise, uh, you can see that from one side the image because was Because I applied the tape and I don't know why. From this side, it was stuck and paper was destroyed. You can see that. After that, I remove the tapes from the back Because again. from some of the sports, paper was stuck with the tape and the image was not too now good. So then I tried to change the side and hide the thing underneath. So it will not look bad. I did the same process and I adjust the pictures. And after that, I applied the tape at the back again. After that, I turn on the heat press and I adjust the temperature. It's 360 degrees and, and for degree. 60 seconds. I left it for heat up the heat press. And by the time I place the parchment paper and inside the pillow cover, so the ink will not transfer to the other side. So I gather two parchment papers so, and I tape it up. And then after that, I place it inside. Or the ink will not transfer.
After that, I place the sublimation pictures that are upside down. You can see that. And after that, I also place the parchment paper underneath as well. And after that, I tape all the edges. According to the pillow covers, you can see that. how you have to make sure that the pillow is straight and all the creases out. You can heat press the pillow and make. It's good to heat press the below before and remove all the creases and it will also remove the moisture from the blanks. After that, I applied heat-resistant tape at the back to give the images sturdy look. So even I applied heat on it, so the images will not move to other places, or it will be destroyed otherwise. After applying tape, I remove the extra paper because otherwise ink will transfer to bed sheets underneath. Sheet that is placing underneath or in the parchment paper. So that's why I remove the extra paper. After that, I placed the heat press for six for each seconds. side. It was in sections, so I applied in four sections. Heat equally. And then after that, I remove the images. You can see that the how it transfers the ink. And then after that, I did the, the other same side. process. And I applied in the same Because the heat press is not that much size. So that's why I applied in section. So you have to make sure overlap some of the area, but don't apply too much heat, otherwise the ink will and fade. And there's the final result. You can see the how vibrant color is. If you have any question regarding you sublimation, you can ask me.